what in the British Parliament 1776 hairdo is this that's beyond me okay it's Friday you already know we're about to look at some AI images and see what kind of crazy stuff people are generating I'm gonna show you two new ones you can go and try out for yourself this week and then we're gonna make a decision which one will be the best for what purpose and what you're going to use it for so stay tuned to the rest of this so you can see the crazy stuff people have been drawing up this entire week all right so first one we're going to look at is pixel lr okay pixel lr they do have a premium setting uh for free stuff is on that coin base again so you get a couple of coins and you never know what it takes to actually cost a coin so anyway all right, let's go down here and let's see what Pixel LR have been drawing up and let's see what they're really good at, what they're poor at, and what would you use it for in this use case. Okay, now I'm not sure what this is, but is this Dr. Umar Johnson? Okay, moving on. It's a nice car. You know, I don't see a lot of cars in these. I feel like we've been seeing high quality pictures of cars since I was in like middle school. You guys remember when your friend used to print out a nice sick car online and you guys just stare at it in class i don't know if that was just me all right whoever generated this he's decent needs some lord in them amen pray for that person all right i'm not seeing anything that's really catching my eye i mean come on man <laughs> come on man what is this okay now what is this now see this is the, this is the stuff i'm talking about y'all gotta pray for people like this like why would you generate something like this this is blasphemous, antichrist, all types of darkness going on and whatever this is. This is not symbolized, symbolized Easter whatsoever. OK, so if you see anything like this generated by some dark people out there, uh, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. All right, I haven't seen watches. When's the last time you seen somebody generate a watch? That's pretty unique. So I'm going to give Pixel LR their props for this one because I haven't seen a watch generated now i see some russian here so i'm gonna go ahead and exit off that and try to get off this website as quickly as i can anyway that's pixel lr guys and go check it out i think they make watches very well and so far i think i like this bike okay not sure why they kept the paint on there all right moving on let's go on over here to this other new one called open art okay you can just google image generator and these guys pop up all right let's see what others are creating let's see what kind of crazy people are creating in open art ai all right so i see it's very focused on women specifically from the egyptian time period um okay this is interesting i mean is he manufacturing webs back there interesting now okay this fortnite skin this looks like Fortnite, doesn't it? Is it in the style of Fortnite? Oh, look at that. Man, I'm good. I'm good. Lion of Judah. Or more, more blasphemous stuff. Okay, this Iron Man render is pretty detailed. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, I mean, it looks like... <laughs> what? Why? Come on, Rick. Do better, Rick. Okay, there's always a lot of pictures of Angelina Jolie. Are people that obsessed with her? Because I did like Tomb Raider, but what, what's with the generations of Angelina Jolie? She's on almost like every site I've seen. Uh, I'm not sure if they're trying to, you know, make a point with that or not, but this looks a little eerie. I mean, open art looks very political, okay? There is some political stuff going on here or, you know, this person's not real. This is, this is what I'm talking about. These two people... Actually, this person looks real, doesn't she? What? Oh, look at this. Look at this description. Pretty light skinned black woman. Hot pink dress and jacket. Hand drawing. In love with Japanese Yakuza man. Tattoo in suit. Friendly smiling couple. Now, come on. You just watched a movie with the Yakuza in there. Because ain't no way you're just randomly generating this stuff. I mean, y'all see what people be generating right here? Crazy yakuza man was he watching rush hour or something now what is this there's some really dark people generating this stuff we need to we need to limit how much dark stuff you can generate now i did see this, this the reason why this kind of stuff disturbs me is because this person does not exist this is not a real person right but 
I guarantee you we can find someone that looks pretty close to this. That's the scary part because where's the cutoff? All right. There we go. More dark stuff. I want to see this prompt. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? What in the British Parliament 1776? hairdo is this that's beyond me y'all okay y'all can't y'all can't act like i'm the only person to see this old british parliament tea dumping haircut all right we, we, we got to move on from that now there's some yeah you got to be careful on this open air, open our stuff because there's some disturbing uh generations and this is why it's important to see what's going on and what people are generating because then you know exactly how dark you know this site or is letting it get because a lot of people complain that there's so much pc-ness with image generators that's because there's people generating stuff like this okay no one's like just generate friendly stuff it's people doing weird you know what i mean weird i mean there's weird in multiple ways like this or something like that and i mean here we go again uh, a woman that looks there it is look angelina jolene every time every time okay so open art i mean it looks average about everything nothing really sp specific stands out to me but again you can go try open art they let you click on stuff for free and you can always upgrade to get access to the weird stuff i'm guessing all right let's see what now this one i showed you guys last week night cafe and they were very good at making cloud stuff okay night cafe very good at clouds and you'll see what i'm talking about let's see what people generated this week okay here we go the typical Mona Lisa, but it doesn't really look like Mona Lisa. Like she's been working out, kind of fit. All right, there it is. More dogs. I already told you guys on the last video. I mean, we got to cool down with the animals. Okay, look at this. Not tell you they're good at. I mean, weird with the animals, but they're very good at cloud stuff. That is interesting work. More cloud stuff. So if you're looking for like some type of cloud theme, say you're doing a video on YouTube, you know, you're talking you know, clouds or something, you're just trying to demonstrate, you know, you need some kind of atmosphere with clouds. I would come and generate uh, at night cafe. Really, I and I recommend that. I mean, look at this. That's crazy stuff. They're very good at. Okay, so I've seen some video. I wonder if that's coming through the feed, but this is now video. All of a sudden last week it was not so that's a quick update and that was a week update that was a week ago i did not see video now now there's their video okay that's not cafe wasn't nothing crazy got generated this week but some cool art stuff and more dogs that you know we can definitely pass on all right let's go see what the boys over at ideogram is up to okay that's something i was generating okay what's going on all right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Okay, I got to see this prompt. All right, let's go to this prompt together, people. Captivating anime style el illustration. I can't even read right now. Of a muscular woman wearing a flower patterned sleeveless dress. Flower patterned sleeveless dress. Okay. Quarter side shot. She is in a dynamic pose in a crowded street disturbing street that's really what that is i mean now why i just i mean seriously why I, it's so okay that's the first thing we see from ideogram they got to do better over there who's generating this stuff flying reindeers real witches i think witches are absolutely real don't let nobody fool you dark more dark stuff is it easier to generate dark stuff or like happy you know stuff like this you know heavenly things i'm curious because i might test this out i might go on all of these image generators and see how easy it is to get something very dark and accurate when you you know generate something see how dark see how so much, so much quicker the dark and accurate get versus like if you're just doing something like happy okay uh, now ideogram is very good at doing 3d so if you're looking for like 3d images or things that you know come out of the images like that that's pretty cool and they're very good at spelling and they spell things correctly as well as you can see like right here look at the spelling on this one right the journey of a thousand miles that's you know someone typed that and it was very accurate so 
if you need some spelling in your images, I would go to Ideogram. They were very good at that. I mean, this looks very specific. This looks like real dogs in here, but like, look at this right here. All right. I could see this at one of my friend's wall. I just, I really can't. I guarantee you, I could probably print this on a giant poster and sell it to him. <laughs> you could probably sell this. You can think of one friend you could sell that to, I guarantee you. Yeah, so uh, Ideograph is very good at making images that are very realistic or at least 3D. And you can kind of tell these images right now, right? The colors, the pop, like it's it's exhausting. The, the, the colorful stuff is really tiring on the eyes, right? Now I feel like everyone's going to go back to black and white. We're going to revert back to black and white very soon. Okay, so that's uh, Ideogram. And that's kind of the update for AI image generators this week. And I'm going to say my favorite out of this week is again, Ideogram. Again, they just come through with the realism. I mean, look, just look at this right here. It's like a realistic Cinderella's shoe, heel, whatever. I, I think I see some uh, laces though, but I mean, that's, that is crazy accurate. Okay. So if you type that, I wonder how many times it took you to get what you want. And uh, at least, least favor would definitely be I would say open art because I mean they just they looks very basic all right they didn't even try that hard all right you can do more you can do more than that um so anyway that's been AI images this week crazy stuff I mean listen the people and the descriptions of the people is just a laugh you know like when you watch these um scripts and how people are generating these prompts it just cracks me up anyway uh but we do this every Friday where we look at the latest image generators and we judge them harshly. And I point you to where you can go and where you shouldn't go and what you should use these things for. And hopefully it helps you with your project or whatever you got going on. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces.